Well everyone, another box came in the mail here. This time I bought a few models from this seller off eBay, Palaz ZG. I've actually bought from this person a few times before. He's actually selling a personal collection to my understanding, but he happens to have like 10,000 or several thousand models. So uh, let's just see if what I got is in the box here. I think this person lives in Croatia, so this must be a Croatian supermarket flyer. This was, what the heck is this? I didn't order this. Maybe that's just a freebie, because uh, honestly, who's going to buy that? Okay, so this is a hint for what's to come in the future. Some cars here. Okay, uh, maybe the person has watched my YouTube channel and knows I like Skylines. That, that's the only reasoning I can see for this. So these are going to go away for now because uh, I want to only talk about one car in my videos so you can search them out in the future. And the car today is this one. When I was in grade school, I had a poster of a red Lamborghini just like this. So I didn't know what model Lamborghini it was other than a Countach. But I'm pretty sure it was this exact uh, model now that we're looking at today. So what we're looking at here is a Kyosho. Should be a Kyosho. Yeah, it is. And it's the LP5000S. So the Countach, you know, dates back a, a ways. Uh, 1974 to 1990, they made over 2,000 of them. But the 5000S specifically, they made six, a little over 600 of these cars. And uh, what made it a 5,000 was they bored out the engine from a 4 liter to a 5 liter, pretty much, well, 5.2 liter, and they gave it <coughs> they gave it four valves per cylinder. So it actually says 5,000 quattro valvole, which is Italian for four valves. Okay, um, there were either carbureted or fuel injected versions of them. I think this must be the fuel injected one because I read that uh, the carbureted ones blocked... well, maybe this is the carbureted one. The carburetors are on the top of the engine, so this engine cover is really bulged out and you really can't see behind the vehicle at all. It's possible this is that one, or maybe it's the fuel-injected one. I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. Either way, um, over 400 horsepower in each variation. The carbureted actually had around 450 horsepower, and the fuel-injected had around 450. 15 ish. So, some of the body panels on this were replaced to Kevlar, and uh, that's really all I know about the, the cars, car now. So, let's get into the casting here. Being a red car, being an old Kyosho, because I can tell it's press fit together, it's not screwed together, it's got some paint rash. But while we're down here, huge staggered rear tires, decent tread. It's weird, they don't really look like the same tire at all. This is such a fine tread. That's such a wide tread. And then uh, moderate detail, I guess. And just kind of lame, blanked off exhaust tips. So this was probably an, an early release from Kyosho. Okay. Well, it's still nice, though. It has some casted-in uh, mirrors, and they're painted black. And then on the front, we have a well-proportioned Lamborghini badge. And then a uh, clear headlight lenses, but there's some silver and some indication of a uh, rectangular lamps back there. Yeah, see? So that's pretty cool. Then we got uh, some additional paint here in the pumper. Looks like uh, this is supposed to be a vent, I think, on the real car. And then this is a white light. Cast it in vents, but no additional paint there. <coughs> we have a raised... Uh, and painted black wiper blade. Typical Kyosho interior, just black but molded details, but you can't see much because of the color. Then we got some black here on these, I'm not sure, vents. 
in the <coughs> window molding. And then, uh, nice that they added black paint to this giant NACA duct here. And then these wheels do look uh, correct to the real vehicle. Just these five holes, they look like revolver barrels or something. Hmm. And then we got the clear tail lamps, as typical of Kyosho, with good separation between the red and the white backup lights. And then we got the printing. Let's see how clear it is. Yeah, Countach 5000S. The Lamborghini is a little hard to read. Okay. A little black paint for the vents here. A little extra gunk. Alright. So I think I actually lucked out. Uh, you know, some paint rash, but I've definitely seen worse. Uh, but. I think it's an old model. I don't know exactly how old this is though. Obviously there's no box, so I'm not sure if this is from the first Lamborghini collection or how I don't even know how many Lamborghini collections there are or if there was one. So sorry, I don't really know. Alright. Let's uh pull it up on the solar spinner thing here. And uh pull out a couple of the Kyoshas to compare to. So the very first uh Kuntash would have been the LP400, which is, I would imagine, somewhere around a 4 liter engine, if the naming makes sense. And uh, this is another great model by Kyosho. In particular, the tiny holes in the wheels are actually passing air through them. They're not blanked off wheels. Those, those dark holes are actually air holes. So that's pretty cool. And I do like the clean design of the very first uh, Countach. You know, uh, I don't know if the real one had mirrors or not, or Kyosho got lazy and chose to not add mirrors to it. Not, not really sure off the top of my head there. Okay, well a more similar looking one would just be the LP500S. Which is this one. So I think this one may have come from a latter release. Only reason me thinking that is the fact that it has really nice wheels. Much, much more detail looking. Uh, no, well, you know, I don't know because it's still press fit together. But the. Hmm, maybe it's, maybe it's from the same era. But you'll notice the engine covers. Where's the blue one? The black engine cover. Those are recesses. On the red one, those are actually raised. They're, they're raised up shapes. So it's a totally different uh, mold. Yeah. And actually the blue one also seems to have a separate piece for that engine cover. The wiper blade is different, and then the blue one has no mirrors again, whereas this red one does. So, pretty interesting differences. And then there's a random one from Kyosho as well. It's an LP500R, which is really just a one-off car that some rich guy in Japan did himself to I don't know what the base vehicle was because uh, there's a YouTube video but it's all in Japanese so he just dubbed this black car of his the 500R I would have to assume it's based off a 500S but this one here has silver painted exhaust tips and then uh, really nice black mesh wheels I'm wondering if this is screwed together nope that's press fit together as well and almost no detail on the bottom Hmm. So, I guess uh, all these Lambo Countaches are from older Kyosho releases because they're all press fit together, they're not screwed together like the more recent ones. So it's interesting. Well, anyways, this is uh, the first supercar I really remember as a kid. This one and the Porsche 959, I would say those are the two supercars that are emblazed into my, my brain and so again I really wish some premium brand would do a 959. Kyosha did do it but uh, the aftermarket prices on that are too high and it just doesn't look 100% to me. The 187 scale Herpa looks better than the 164 scale uh, Kyosho of the Porsche 959 that is. All right, but that's a different subject. So this today is all about the Countach. If you like Lambos and the Countach, this uh, video was for you guys. 
maybe you want to look into uh, getting one of these models yourself. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one.